on News 4 at 11, a large turnout to help a Spokane Valley family struck by tragedy. A record bloomsday is in the books, but now comes the job no one would wish on their worst enemy. And a very expensive round of golf with the president. News 4 in four minutes. So, you want to see what my son's getting me for Mother's Day? He's only a year old. Yeah, but even he knows Kmart's got great prices. Smart kid. Mm-hmm. Fine jewelry, half off. Hmm, nice bracelet. That's right. The carrot's worth of diamonds, only $99.99. How's he gonna pay for it? Allowance. For spitting up? Yeah. I'm drooling? At least he answered the phone. He said nana. That was me. This week only, all fine jewelry, 50 to 60% off our already low prices. Today's Kmart. Nah, nah. Don't do that when nah. I call you. Nah, nah, nah. I This week, you're on a date or making a speech. Are you scared to death? Anxiety. We'll show you the secrets of facing your fears. Also, Helen Hunt, Bill Paxton, and Mother Nature, stars of the movie Twister. I'm Joan London. And I'm Charles Gibson. And that's all coming up this week on Good Morning America. Right now, though, stay tuned for the news. Next on News 4, they came, they conquered, and they left with sore feet. And they made the 20th Blooms Day the biggest ever. Also, many in the nation may believe that crime is getting worse, but once again, the numbers say absolutely not. And what better place to crown the world's best grandmother than in Washington's capital for apple pie? News 4 starts now. The American Broadcasting Company, ABC. The doll, the doll, the doll. Catch the tail, catch the tail, catch the tail. Bite the light, bite the light, bite the light. Take a lesson from the dog. Focus on the simple things and you'll be happy. Find a fare, find a fare, find a fare. It's Southwest Airlines' new take-along fares. Buy a full unrestricted fare to any non-stop city and take along up to three people for only $25 each each way. Only one day advance purchase required. But hurry, offer ends June 12th. Find a phone, find a phone. XLY News. This is News 4 at 11. Good evening. I'm Carrie Tomlinson. And I'm John Allison. The beating of three young Spokane Valley women shocked the community. Well, tonight, the community gave what it could to help the families of the victims. Albertini's Restaurant in the Spokane Valley held a benefit dinner for the families of 18-year-old Jade Moore and 22-year-old Talisha Shaver. They were beaten to death in the valley a week ago. 19-year-old Venus Shaver is fighting for recovery. Now, the restaurant says close to 300 people joined in the benefit dinner this evening with a raffle and an auction. Employees at the restaurant donated their time and tips to help raise money family were just amazed and so appreciated of the community and of these people for doing what they've done for us and all these little things help us tremendously to get through what we're going through and uh, we came in the words don't even express what we feel right now. No total yet on the proceeds but organizers gave out hundreds of orange and black ribbons as a memorial for the victims. And in Spokane today Bloomsday celebrated its 20 year anniversary with a special present a record number of racers. 61,229 vowed to pack the downtown, squeeze through the merge, crawl up Doomsday Hill, and grab an official t-shirt. All the traditions of this community event. Racers tell us what keeps them going through seven plus miles and for two decades of Bloomsday. That's, a, that's our strategy today, just have a good time. I'm chained all week for this. All week. <laughs> I'm, I'm not into the gimmick thing this year. I'm going to just try and finish it. Last year I only snagged second, so I'm hoping to grab first this year. <laughs> yes, we enjoy it very much. It's a big party. It's a big party with all the music and all the entertainment along the way. And in one spot, it was a record year for injuries as well. The merge is usually a human traffic jam, but today an ambulance joined the fray, treating a few racers with broken bones. And Kara, we all know when Bloomsday is over, there is a whole new race that really begins. That's right, a messy race, a race to pick up the big mess before commuters make their way into downtown for Monday morning. It looked like a tornado blew through town, garbage cans overflowing with white paper cups, trees used as coat racks. Many participants felt lucky to find the clothes they stripped off before the race. Others used the opportunity to go shopping, picking through the clothing left behind. Oh, you can find shirts and sweatpants and sweatshirts and shorts and and plastic garbage bags and uh, any anything that, that, that you could use, you, you, you'll find. 
a bargain hunter. Well, cleanup crews are out tonight getting the rest of the mess, the clothes and the paper cups that pave the streets after every Blooms Day. And yet another race for after the uh, runners cross the finish line. It's a new race to the T-shirt line. And this year's Bloomsday shirt was designed by Ken Spearing, a local artist who's drawn Bloomsday posters the past five years. The shirt is a light denim blue, and on the front, empty paper water cups spilling lavender and light blue water, spelling 20 at the top, and below it, Bloomsday 96. Finally, recognizing that the paper cups are an important part of Bloomsday. Well, some people see Bloomsday as just the beginning of Spokane's tourist season. And what a beginning it was this year. The Lilac Bloomsday Association says up to 40% of people who register for the race come from outside the Spokane area. That means tourism dollars. And the Visitors Bureau estimates Bloomsday will bring $2 million to the inland northwest economy in 96. And there is no denying it was one big party this weekend in Spokane, and some who passed up Bloomsday were out to celebrate Cinco de Mayo. The annual event commemorates the 1862 Mexican victory at the Battle of Puebla. Some local bars and taverns were ready bright and early. We have giant wet burritos. All our Mexican beers are on special. And uh, we are the public can right now for all of town, it seems like. So, But uh, everybody's having a good time. And everybody into the spirit, apparently. The celebration continues. Spokane Community College hosting their sixth annual Celebration of Cultures tomorrow through Thursday. Events every day. All are open to the public in SCC's student lair. Well, she's a bit tart, but she can bake a mean apple pie. The Washington Apple Commission selected its Granny Smith tonight. This is the woman they're calling the greatest grandma in the world. The winner is 57-year-old Marjorie Ann Carlson of Adena, Minnesota. Former Leave it to Beaver star Jerry Mathers hosted this event in Wenatchee tonight. You know, I thought that uh, June Cleaver was the ultimate mother and grandmother, but she'd have some real competition here. 16 granny finalists from around the country spent three days touring Wenatchee. Only one of them was from the Northwest. People are so very nice, and I am learning so much about apples. I never knew how the apple went from the tree to the market. Now, thousands of people nominated their grannies for the contest. No doubt, each thinks their grandma is the greatest. Okay, let's check in now with Elizabeth Gardner. The first look now at our weather for the start of the week. Elizabeth? Well, John, the start of the week is going to look a lot like today, and that's great news. We had beautiful, beautiful weather for Bloomsday. Mostly sunny skies at sunrise, 33 degrees, so we will see another chilly night. But tomorrow afternoon, plenty of sunshine. We'll see a high temperature of 62 degrees. A bit breezy in the afternoon, though, with southwest winds at 20 miles per hour. All the sunshine is not going to last, though, unfortunately, I'll have your complete five-day forecast in just a few minutes. John and Carrie? Okay, look forward to that one. All right, and some good news tonight. It's becoming more safe to live in America. Coming up on News 4 at 11, some new crime figures that may cause you to rethink the way things are going. And we've heard of spendy golf courses, but $76,000? Maybe it's your playing partner. And you think you need to see the dentist? Meet an elephant with a whale of a tooth problem. Coming up on News 4. It was a very grim story for us. Uh, our plant was closing. Gonna lose 88 jobs. The local manager of the Walmart store gave me an appointment. He says, those Walmart commercials, is that for real? Uh, the Made in USA program gets a commitment. And I did everything I could to, to make it happen. The Jim called me up. He says, I got a truck rolling in my back door. We got orders going out. Well, I'm glad we helped them out. Thanks to Walmart, we've saved 88 American jobs. For cars that can benefit from higher octane, Texaco Clean System 3 Power Plus and Power Premium are formulated to clean your engine's intake valves, fuel injectors, and combustion chambers while you're driving to give you smooth starts and sure acceleration. Just give us five tanks, and we think Power Plus and Power Premium will make quite an impression on you. Add more life to your car! 
Well, there's nothing I like better than talking about hammer. This is the most common hammer used by machinists, and this is a nutcracker's hammer. Now, this is a hammer. This is a very rare squirrel hammer. This is a doctor's hammer. This is the ball peen hammer. Then you have the shoe hammer that makes shoes. There's so many different kind of hammers, I don't think I'll ever find them all. At Washington Mutual, we think people are pretty darn interesting, so we built a bank just for them, a bank that even offers free checking. The history of the hammer is the history of civilization. That's different. That's Washington Mutual. Here's a clever idea. Northwest Plymouth days. Look what's blown in. A special allocation of the new Plymouth breeze. Selection is great. It's fun to drive, now fun to lease. For a cool 14645. Automatic, air, cruise, all standard. You get a great lease or a great price that won't break the bank. Get a specially equipped Plymouth breeze at Northwest Plymouth days. It wouldn't be clever to miss it. See your Northwest Chrysler and Plymouth dealer. You're watching News 4 at 11 with Kerry Tomlinson, John Allison, weather with Elizabeth Gardner, and sports with Todd Lewis. Welcome back. The nation's crime rate has fallen for the fourth straight year. According to FBI statistics, the drop in crime was true in all regions of the country, with the biggest improvements in the biggest cities. Nationwide, the crime rate fell in all major categories. Murder showed the biggest decline, down 8%. Rape, down 6%. And robbery, 7%. The only increase was in larceny theft, and that was up just 1%. Certainly some good news there. Well, last week it was the multi-million dollar JFK auction. Tonight, it's the $76,000 Bill Clinton tea time. That's what one unidentified bidder paid for the privilege of one round of golf with the president. That came along with uh, other prizes to raise money for scholarships at the school attended by the president's daughter, Chelsea. But things might have gotten a bit out of hand at the end, as the guy who dropped out at 75 grand said, I'll see the president some other time. Well, the spirit of entrepreneurship has taken one Detroit girl all the way to the Olympics. This ninth grader enlisted the help of relatives to sell over 3,500 boxes of Girl Scout cookies this year. The feat earned Lakeisha Brantley spending credit from the Girl Scout Council, which means she can use it to pay for a trip to the Summer Games in Atlanta. Lakeisha is one of 40 Girl Scouts in the country making the trip, but she certainly did very well in selling her cookies. Well, more to come here on News 4 at 11, including your complete SkyTrack forecast just ahead. And also, watch Ken Griffey stepping up into the limelight with the play of the day. Stay tuned for Sports Extra. Perkins is cooking with paste thick and chunky salsa. And paste is the key ingredient in all our enchiladas like our new cheese enchilada, our chicken enchilada, and the shredded beef enchilada. You can order them in any combination. And don't forget our Rancheros burrito. Perkins, breakfast, dinner, and everything in between. If we can't guarantee it, we won't sell it. It's a promise we've been living up to for nearly 40 years. I'm proud of that. Next time you need tires, remember our warranty. When you take full advantage of it, it's worth $150 in free services. I'm Elizabeth Gardner. For the record, our high temperature 58 degrees, still below our normal of 63. It looks like our temperatures will stay below normal for the next four or five days. Our sun sets tomorrow at 8.09, and I'll have your complete week ahead forecast coming up next. Tonight, more people in the Northwest will sleep on a mattress from the Bon Marche than from anywhere else because we've been your mattress store for over 100 years. And now, during the double bonus premium mattress sale, save on every premium mattress set. Plus, get a free frame or an extra $20 to $40 off. Charge it on your bond card and receive 0% interest for three months. Plus, on selected styles, get free delivery of your new mattress and removal and recycling of your old one. It's the Northwest Mattress Store. The Bon Marche. Having a wonderful garden makes me feel great. You can find everything you need at Walmart's Better Homes and Gardens Garden Center. Impatience, Diefenbachias. My garden is a Walmart garden. Pine bark. 
Everything under one convenient roof. If they haven't got it, they get it. It's not invented yet. The only thing better than Walmart's beautiful plants are their low prices. The Walmart associates are very educated about the plants. And best of all, you can get it at the low Walmart price. They just look at the garden. They know that I've got the green thumb. Now, we may have had record numbers for Bloom's Day because somehow, instinctively, people in Spokane knew that it was going to be a beautiful day. Well, do you know why that was? Because they were watching last night when I told them <laughs> it was going to be a beautiful yeah. day. Yeah, that you did. But I've been looking into the crystal ball for this week, and unfortunately, it does not look as good. We're going to be in for another wet, soggy, cool week. It was just a beautiful day today, though. We got a shot of the sunset, and take a look at this. Just gorgeous. We had a few clouds rolling in later on in the day, even a, a few showers falling, not actually hitting the ground in some places, but uh, this shot is just gorgeous. Still fairly uh, warm outside, at least for this time of night. 40 degrees, mostly clear skies, though our winds are fairly light out of the southwest at six miles per hour. On our satellite shot, you can see just how clear things are right over Spokane into North Idaho and even into northwestern Montana right now. Just a few clouds lingering up to the north. Those clouds up to the north are also uh, associated with some colder air, and because the the jet stream is now dipping down to the south of it. It's of, of us. It's allowing some of that cold air to seep closer and closer to us. Of course, it's not there yet. You can see the border of it here delineated by this cold front. We've got this upper level low pressure system that's off the coast of Washington. And what that's going to mean for us is tomorrow afternoon, we're going to see some showers moving into the coast. And then by, say, Tuesday, we'll see those showers moving into the inland northwest, mixing with some of this colder air. So we're looking at another sort of wet, cool pattern for the rest of the week. Unfortunately, this beautiful weather that we enjoyed today and that we will enjoy tomorrow is not going to stay with us for the next five days. Again, showers along the coast, especially in the afternoon. Some freezing temperatures throughout the Columbia Basin tonight and even possibly in Spokane. 33 degrees is what we're expecting. But of course, down in the valleys where some of that colder air collects, we could see some freezing temperatures. But high temperatures tomorrow not looking too bad. 66 in Wenatchee and in Pullman for tomorrow tomorrow. Possibly a few snow flurries through Snoqualmie Pass, but it'll probably also be mixed with rain showers, so we're not expecting any driving trouble through there. Uh, 64 in Moses Lake, 62 in Colville. Again, possibly some freezing temperatures through North Idaho and definitely into Montana, 28 in Kalispell and 30 in Missoula. But with the sunshine for tomorrow, we're expecting things to warm up nicely. 65 in Lewiston. Our neighbors in Calgary and Edmonton, though, are going to be stuck with winter tomorrow. Snow flurries and only 3 degrees in Edmonton, that's in the upper 30s Fahrenheit. 12 degrees in Cranbrook with partly cloudy skies and a few showers. But again, down to the south, we're expecting mostly sunny skies and a beautiful day for tomorrow. That's what most of the west is going to see. Very warm temperatures down to the south. 100 in Phoenix. Everywhere else, fairly moderate, but plenty of sunshine. The east coast, of course, not seeing quite as much sunshine. Some thunderstorms through the central plains here and even uh, heading into the southeast. 86 in Miami, 88 in in Atlanta and some rain showers in New York with 60 degrees for us tomorrow. Beautiful 62 degrees, mostly sunny skies for tomorrow. But then things begin to deteriorate as we head into the rest of the week. Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, we could see a few thunderstorms mixed in with those showers. It's just going to be one of those springtime weeks that we've been experiencing. It feels like so far all, every week in spring we've seen just this wet kind of on and off kind of weather. Hopefully it won't be long before we see some nice dry warm stretches. Well, it looks like tomorrow we'll have some leftovers from Bloom's Day. Besides the sore muscles and the aching feet, we'll have some leftover sunshine yes. so we can enjoy that. If we have any snow in this month, you and I are going to ah! talk. We're going <laughs> to talk. Let's hope not. <laughs> okay. Well, you know the season was on the line for a few NBA teams today and up next on News 4 at 11, Todd Lewis will guide us through the day in the NBA where some teams were sent home packing. And yes, we are all winners, but some world-class runners made a dash for cash today. And Todd will have the winners from today's Bloomsday races. At first glance, we think you'll agree the new Ford Taurus deserves a closer look. From its halogen headlamps that enhance visibility to solar-tinted glass that reduces interior heat. From Taurus's dual-heated mirrors to its power windows that you can operate after the engine is turned off. And now, Taurus has two attractive options, a $239 a month lease or 2.9% financing. Test drive the all-new Taurus today at your Northwest Ford dealer. It's very peaceful underwater. I love the freedom. 
I was at a different bank before, but they didn't value my time or my business, so I switched my checking account to C first, and it's been great ever since. When a bank is dealing with your money, I think it's only right that they respect you. C first doesn't have a monthly fee for the versatile checking account, so it leaves extra money to go diving. And that's what I'd much rather be doing. Isn't it time to switch your checking account to C first? Quality health care coverage. We think about it all the time. It's good MSC gives us a choice. With plans that work for us. Like prime care. At a price we can afford. They have lots of doctors. From MSC. From Medical Service Corporation. They're here in Eastern Washington. Local people making local decisions. For 60 years. They're like us. Just like us. Just like us. It's here, it's now, it's our finest annual spring carpet sale ever, and there's no waiting. Over 10 acres of carpet in stock, plus carpet, outdoor carpet, and over 200 styles of vinyl flooring, plus pergo, ceramic tile, and hundreds of discounted remnants. It's four days only, so hurry, sale ends Monday. Warehouse carpets, warehouse carpets. 2900 block on East Trent, across from St. Vincent de Paul. News 4 continues with total sports coverage for the Northwest. At Bloomsday, the elite runners put on those little lacquer shorts and laced up their $200 running shoes today in hopes of catching the cash cow. The winner of this race collects a cool $25,000, which is a Bloomsday record. On the midside, 12 runners took the starting gun. Not one American made this year's field. Kenya's Lazarus Nyakaraka grabbed the lead and early on he just cruised finally on doomsday hill he clinched the race niakaraka finished the 12 kilometer course in 34 minutes and seven seconds he wins easily right behind niakaraka his fellow countrymen all right here we go <laughs> ibrahim nuthia and jimmy muwinni in america well i'll tell you what in kenya those names mean smith jones and thompson let's move on now to the women's side the women's race was kind of like the men's race Colleen de Rook of South Africa grabbed the early lead and she pulled away at the two mile marker, dusted the field, and de Rook wins easily. She finished the course in 38 minutes, 48 seconds. She'll represent South Africa in the upcoming Colleen, Olympics. Colleen de After de Rook, it's Catherine Indoriba of Kenya and Rosalie Machada of Brazil. Before the men's and women's race, the wheelchair athletes took the Bloomsday starting gun. The men's race was billed as a clash between Paul Wiggins of Australia and Craig Blanchett of Cheney. But Paul Wiggins was the winner today. His strength and great technique pushed him to his second consecutive Bloomsday championship. Blanchett finished second well behind Wiggins. On the women's side, it's Jean Driscoll again. Driscoll in her famous yellow chair and winning smile took the tape first to win her eighth of Bloomsday and win next year would set an all-time record for most wins at Bloom State. The Seattle Mariners wrapped up their four-game series with the Cleveland Indians today. The M sent big Chris Bazio to the mound, who was looking for his fourth win of the season. And Boz got some defensive help from Kid Griffey Jr. That's Albert Bell hitting one deep. But watch Jr. He says, Albert, uh-uh, coming back at the ballpark. You got to look at this twice to really appreciate it. He climbs the wall, a.k.a. Spider-Man, and yanks it right back in. But Junior could do nothing with this. That one spanked Eddie Murray, upper deck. Uh, that made it two to nothing. Uh, well, Indians going to win this game by that final of two to nothing. Cleveland comes to Seattle and takes three of four in this series. The Mariners will try to rebound tomorrow when they host the Minnesota Twins. The playoff series between Utah and Portland has lived up to its billing as one of the best matchups in round number one of the NBA playoffs. After slugging it out in four games, the Jazz and the Blazers were deadlocked at two. But today, the two met in the fifth of deciding contest. The winner moves on to play San Antonio. The Jazz, well, they had their game faces on, and John Stockton gets the steal in the first half. He feeds David Benoit. Utah led 46 to 24 at the half. In the second half, the Jazz tuned in. Carl Malone says, take that. He had 25 for the day. And then later, Malone feeds Stockton in kind of a role reversal thing. Stockton drained 21 points today. And Utah wins 102 to 64, just annihilating Portland. The Jazz advanced to round number two. In Indiana, the Pacers and the, and the uh, Hawks met in the fifth and decided game of their series. Reggie Miller 
came back to play in this game after eye surgery, and he was effective. That's dialing long distance. Ding a ling a ling. And Reggie Miller finishes with 29 points, but Mookie Blaylock goes to the rack card. He had 23 points. Hawks win game five in kind of a shocker, 89 to 87. They will move on in second round action. Well, the well, we have to show you a shot of Michael Jordan. It's a, well, it's mandatory in broadcasting law. The Bulls taking on the Knicks. There's Michael Jordan, that highlight I was telling you about. Yeah, well, there it is. He had 44 points today. The Bulls win, yay, just like they do every time. 91 to 84 is the final. The Bulls lead that best of seven series. One game to none. The quest for the, uh, the cup continues. Still to come tonight on Sports Extra. We'll hit the ice for action from the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs. That story after you check out tonight's scores. First in the American League, the California Angels take care of the Minnesota Twins 5-1. In the National League, it's Colorado getting by Florida in the battle of expansion teams. And on the college diamond, not a good day for local teams. Washington State, Gonzaga, and Whitworth all lose. This is Sports Extra on News 4 to 11. We do things a little differently today than when I started 20 years ago. For example, we know that streamside areas are important wildlife habitat and help assure clean, cool water for fish. We've mapped them on hundreds of thousands of acres using computerized systems to keep track of their unique values. Because each stream is a little different, we plan for each one individually. We leave trees and bushes to provide shade and erosion protection we monitor in-stream conditions for fish, and we improve things when we can. Our own hydrologists and wildlife biologists are a part of our team. They help guide our activities along with our other resource needs. Experience and better tools, they help us do a better job today and an even better one tomorrow. That's important because we all depend on the future of Idaho's forests. Top of the line. Oh, no. Mm. This one? Sorry. Aha. That's it. Play Hot for Dough from the Idaho Lottery. Win up to $15,000. J9. That's a hit. H9. Another hit. I've got him. F9. You sunk the battleship, sir. Aha! Let's go get another ticket. If you insist, sir. Play Battleship from the Idaho Lottery. Win up to $30,000. The award, 1996 4x4 four four of the year. But you don't get it unless you earn it. And once again, Jeep Grand Cherokee did. But with all of Grand Cherokee's major new improvements, was it really any surprise? Jeep Grand Cherokee. Lease one for only $368 a month. This is your year for the award-winning 4x4 four four of the year. See your local Jeep and Eagle dealer. Welcome back as Kerry Tomlinson will tell you hockey is good, but playoff hockey is great. Today, the two NHL powerhouses from the East faced off. New York took on the Pittsburgh Penguins in game two of their second round series. And superstar Mario Lemieux was out to give his team a 2-0 edge in this series. And in the second period, he delivers with a goal. But this day belonged to the guys from Gotham. Mark Messier redirects Jeff Bukaboom's shot. That made it 4-1 Rangers. New York wins, evening up this series at one game apiece, the final 6-3. Also, the Detroit Red Wings embarrass St. Louis 8-3 in game two of that series. The Red Wings lead that best of seven affair, two games to love. It doesn't happen often, but today NASCAR's best drivers ran a race where they were not only forced to turn left, but also right. The road course of Sears Point was the site of today's Save Mart 500, and the good old boys aren't used to running on the road course. This is Derek Cope slamming into the wall but rusty wallace was able to maneuver his way up front and he collects the checkered flag for the win it's his second victory of the season right behind rusty at an average speed of just over 77 miles per hour is mark martin then wally dollenbach jr dale earnhardt aka the intimidator comes in fourth you know i don't think i'd like to be driving behind these guys if they don't know how to make a right hand turn <laughs> it makes sense doesn't it now todd you also admit that hockey is good a hockey is good. I like hockey. If you admit you like racing. Okay. It's a deal. 
Well, okay. Let's hear <laughs> it. So much. I, lo I love racing. It's okay. great. All right. Thanks. Glad that's settled. Well, <laughs> there's one elephant at the uh, Houston Zoo who has something to smile about tonight. Indu was having problems chewing her food. So a team of oral surgeons from across the country came to the rescue. The 32-year-old elephant only has four teeth, but we're told they were wearing against each other, wow. preventing Indu from grinding her food. Handlers say she would have died from her condition if she was living in the wild. Must have taken a lot of anesthesia for that one. <laughs> he put, put their hands in the mouth. Gotta do it. A what quick look do? at weather. It looks like it's going to be beautiful tomorrow. Of course, we enjoyed a beautiful day today. More of the same tomorrow. 62 degrees will be our high temperature. Breezy, though, in the afternoon with southwest winds at 20 miles per hour. It's going to be chilly in the morning, a low, a low temperature of 33 degrees, so you may need the jacket in the morning, but you probably won't need it in the afternoon. And people were, are cleaning up tonight, picking up all the stuff left over from Bloom's Day. So hopefully by tomorrow morning, all that will be cleaned up. You can drive through the streets. You don't have to drive over paper cups or clothes or anything like that. I got a little thing I want to say about these t-shirts. I like the idea about the paper cups things, but let's get some cups we can recycle. You know? Excellent job. It's a lot of trash. Well, actually, a note, as I was walking the course today, I kept looking for trash cans to throw away my cups. There, and not you, there, are, there are none. This is the truth, so perhaps a suggestion. No. I'm, I'm waiting year. to look for people, and they'll be limping tomorrow. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> a lot of those. Good Thanks night. Thanks for joining us. Good night. Good night. Take care. If you see news happening or have news video, contact News 4 at these telephone numbers 24 hours a day.